Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and this is some subs awesome replays. Kiss my shiny metal ass, as Bendit would say. Both replays are Japanese tanks and the first off is ITC underscore tank of the clan ITC rolling out in the Chai Ri, the Japanese tier 7 medium on the North American server in a supremacy game. Now, I like the Chai Ri. To be honest, I think it's a nice little medium in tier 7. A lot of people don't like it, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because, it, you know, it does have an auto loader, which can be a pain, and it doesn't have the best armor in the world, which can also be a pain. But once you've auto loaded the auto loader, boy, has it got some burst damage. And as you can see from ITC, he's really given that little P44 Panzara a hard time and I, I like this tank you know if you if you get to grips with this thing you can really be a pain you can be a monster he's lost a lot of hit points because as I said it hasn't got the best armor it could do with an armor buff if I'm being perfectly honest with you but that's not the point of this I mean if you put this tank in the right place like most tanks the you know, you can protect your armor, is down to no hit points, and the game is only just started, and there's a long way to go, and, you know, you're wondering, Fujit, why are you playing this replay? It's crap, he's, he's almost dead, he's a one-shot to everybody. Ah, but the game is young. So he's done 1,300 damage, he's now taking his second kill. Booyah! And, uh, you know, he's got what? Next to no hit points, what's that, 40 hit points or something? I mean, it's unbelievable. 1,500 damage. Bounce for 20. They, the other team are three tanks down. They must have thought that they could have rolled over this little Chiri driven by ITC underscore tanker. Clearly they haven't. <laughs> Clearly they've not got away with it. Clearly he has. You would argue maybe he's been a bit lucky, maybe he hasn't. Oh, there's an 87. Bit of a tricky tank to pen uh, frontally. Hopefully he's going to go side on. Yes, he is. Very nice. Let's all smack him. And why not? Look at my burst damage. Have a bit of that. <laughs> and this is why it's a case of kiss my shiny metal ass. Because he's he should have died. He should be out of the game. Oh, Bulldog, get out of the way. Boom, he's gone. Kill number three. 2,175 damage. And he's held cap a base. And there's only one tank left on the red team. Oh my giddy aunt. It's all over apart from the singing. A low KV. Smack, smack, smack again. <laughs> and it's all over. 2,531 damage. 450 bounce. And he did the majority of the game with no hit points. That is a fantastic mastery, my friend. Thank you very much, ITC Tanker of the Clan ICT, for kindly sharing your replay. Next up, good friend of mine, Chairman Mapug of the Clan AFK. He is rolling out in the Type 61, the Japanese Tier 9 med, this time on the EU server. Another supremacy game, another great little tank that does sometimes struggle with its armour, but it does have a fantastic gun. Now, when Chairman Mapug had a chat with me about this replay, he, he was very proud of it. And he told me on the um, EU forum in the messages, he said, oh, you know, really, really chuffed with this replay. So I thought, well, let's have a look at it. And you know what? This is a fantastic replay. I love this replay. And okay, you know, you may be sat there saying, well, I don't know if he's going to, you know, I don't know, it's a Type 61 and blah, blah, blah. Seriously, this is a great replay. Air, the stars align here for Chairman Mapug. He plays this tank spectacularly. Okay, he, that was a crap shot. <laughs> but one shot, can you can forgive people for one shot. He's a tier 9 in a tier 10 game, realistically. And on the other side, he's got some pretty nasty tanks to contend with. Oh, hello, Leo. The Leo's coming back up. Oh, Chairman Mapug's been spotted. And there's a Death Star down there, and the Death Star can waste him in one easy movement. You can see the Bat Chat there getting absolutely pummeled. So, there are two tanks down already. Here goes the first tank. Boom! Leo won. So, he's starting to even the score up, but Chairman Mapug is worried about that Death Star, and understandably so. 
he can be deleted in one shot almost. Especially in this thing, especially against that thing. So he's doing the right thing and he's getting the hell out of dodge. They are still, they, they, they're up on cap points, but they're down on guns. You can see that. So what's Chairman Mapungda going to do? He's going to get back to his nice little hold down position and do some smacking. Hello, 183. Smack you a little bit. And this is the good thing about this tank. I mean, it, it's it got great gun depression. And if you stick it in the right place, you can do things like this. Hello, Waffle Tractor. Maybe I should have loaded HE, but it doesn't matter because I got to smack you anyway. Now they're three tanks down. So it, it ain't looking great for the chairman, unfortunately. They, they're now also not up on cap points anymore. <laughs> so, you know, the odds are slowly being stacked. They've now lost another tank. So it's now five against four. Three, sorry, five against three. And you would think, well, you know, okay, but Chairman Mapung still got all his hit points. Ooh, maybe, hello, Leo PTA. Do you want to go the same way as your bigger brother? I think you do. I think the Leo PTA wants to be deleted and go back to the garage. Maybe the Chairman Mapung's hands. Yes, it is. Boom, he's gone. So slowly whittling down the reds. Now it's three against four. There's a Death Star still out there. We've just seen the Waffle Traeger. Um, I can't remember what the other two tanks are, to be perfectly honest with you, because I'm awful at things like this. I can't remember things for Toffee. Somebody's trying to take the C cap. There's the Death Star. Can he get one into him? No, he bounces a Death Star. That's just totally, totally unlucky. The Death Star now knows where he is. Chairman Mapug is loaded. Is he going to stick his head over the top? Take the risk. Waits for the camo to reset on both. There you go. Hello, Death Star. Smacks. Oh, double, double tapped. He gets the Death Star, but the Death Star also gets to give him a bloody nose. Now it's three against three. Wowzers. Waffle Traeger must have gone, which is hardly surprising. There's an IS-7 and an IS-4 still out there. The IS-4 is on uh, Chairman Mabug's team, and the IS-7 is clearly on the red team. Trying to get up this hill. No, ain't going to happen. He knows the Death Star is just round that corner. He knows the Death Star is on his long reload. But he also knows that by the time he gets there, he's going to be reloaded and it's going to hurt. He is now a one-shot to the Death Star, realistically. It's, it's as simple as that. He can be deleted as soon as he sticks his head around that corner. He knows he has no choice. He's got to kill him somehow. But how? So he's trying to do the right thing. He's trying to minimise his armour profile. There's the Death Star. He just can't get the... Uh, the down a little bit maybe is this gonna work yes it does awesome stuff by the chairman now it's three against two chairman has got three kills 2611 damage there is two tanks out there and they're, they're pretty good on their hit points as you can see i mean chairman's lost half of his still three on two though so it's not looking too bad chairman goes into sniper mode inadvertently i think he's gonna try and get around there See if he can get anything on them. He can't get anything on them at the moment. So what's he going to do? He's going to do the right thing. They want to win the game. So the right thing to do is get that A cap. Heavies are all playing against each other there. So you've got two, you got, you got, you got the heavies are the reds and a heavy and a TD on the green team. Chairman goes out there, takes this cap. He wants to get the cap. He needs to get the cap. Stop them from getting points. They are up on points. As I said, it's a supremacy game. This makes sense to do this, to be honest. Oh, there we go. There's only one tank left. It's the IS-7. Can Chairman get down there and do something with the IS-7? Or is the IS-4... Oh, his team... Is it the IS... No, sorry. The IS-7 was in his team, not the IS-4. So there's an IS-4 left. Can Chairman get down there and do something with the IS-4? The IS-7 is going in for the kill. There's the IS-4, smack him, boom, smack down tracked. That's what we like to see. Can you get the kill? Come on, kill him before, please, please. Yes, he does. Wowzers. Edge of the seat stuff. Fantastic game, really well played. 3,023 damage, great mastery, four kills. I love that replay. I'd like to do a big thank you to ITC underscore tanker of the clan, ITC underscore. 
in the GRE on the North American server and Chairman Mapug of the Clan AFK on the EU server in the Type 91 for kindly sharing their replays. I've been Fujit. That has been awesome replays from my subs. By all means, if you only replay them to me at fujitsblitzgmail.com or upload them to my Discord server. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Lovely thing to do. Cost you nothing, makes me happy. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.